Uh, hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Placement Talks. I am Preeti Sai and I'm here with Malolan Kannan who has been placed in PayPal. Hey Malolan, it's great to have you here with us today. To start off, let's have an introduction about yourself and about the company that you've been placed in. My name is Malolan. I've been pursuing my electronics and computer engineering uh, BTEC in VIT Chennai. I'm currently in my fourth year. Uh, as Preeti has just told, I've got placed in PayPal. Right now, it's an intern only uh, opportunity for me, which I'm hoping would get converted in the future. Uh, PayPal is a multinational fintech company. Though it is a fintech company, it's needs some digital payments, its core is still technological. So I really take this as a good opportunity for me to express my technological skills as a software developer engineer in PayPal. Wow, that's really interesting. So can you tell us more about the selection uh, process and application process of the so, company? Uh, PayPal is a slot one company in VIT Chennai. So for the application of it, we'll have to go through the VIT Chennai portal. Um, after applying through the portal, uh, they sent a mail uh, regarding the details of the exam and when it will be conducted. And they sent a hacker rank uh, link for the coding test. So first was the coding test. This agreement was uh, allowed to write. So as soon as we finish the coding test, uh, like after around four hours, uh, they send the list of people who have been selected for the interview rounds. And uh, they selected around uh, 20 people. 22 people uh, to be precise for the interview round. So since you spoke about the coding round, could you give us more insight about it, about the different questions that you are asked since coding is really important? Yes, uh, as you were telling, coding is a really, really important subject. And uh, so you must be really strong in uh, data structures, uh, concepts and algorithms. So in the coding test, uh, they generally ask questions from dynamic programming, uh, as well as trees and uh, they can also ask general normal uh, programming questions that uh, require a bit of uh, uh, a bit more thinking from your side. So I got two questions. Uh, both were uh, one was based on recursion. Uh, it's just based on recursion backtracking. And the second question was a dynamic programming question. So yeah, those are the two questions in the coding. Uh, the next question for you. So. How to build a perfect resume because without that you wouldn't have got such an amazing opportunity. Uh, that's completely true. A good resume always uh, stands out to the people who are uh, taking you for hire. So whenever you try to build your uh, resume, make sure that you have a lot of personal projects in it. Not only the projects that you're going to do as the part of a course curriculum, uh, you must also be part of different projects that showcases your different skills, basically. You must be able to point out different skills uh, that you have from the projects that you have made. Uh, regarding personally, I have taken part in a lot of hackathons. So that has given me a lot of insight on how to build good projects and how to build real life projects because that you won't get through college. So try to take part in hackathons, try to make good projects through hackathons. Because uh, I, I do think that that was really a standing, uh, that, was, that was something that stood out. Uh, my, that's why my resume would have stood out. Uh, because even though becoming, uh, being in electronics and uh, computer, uh, student, uh, I was the only one who was selected after the coding round. So um, apart from the coding round, the resume plays a really, really huge role. So do work on it. Also do a lot of internships. Even that will give a lot of value to your resume. OK, that's really helpful. Uh, so moving on to the next questions. Uh, since you have spoken about the resume and selection process, so according to what I've heard, the GPA plays a very important role when you sit for placements. So do you think having a good CGPA is really important or is it about, is this just about the skills and knowledge that you have? Um, what I would say is CGPA is, uh, when you're going through uh, campus, CGPA is uh, really important uh, for you to get selected to write the coding test first. Because I've seen a lot of people Excuse me. I've seen a lot of people who have uh, not been selected just because they are not a nine point. Even though they had a lot, they had really good skills in uh, programming. They knew, they, everyone knew they had really good skills, but they were not selected to even write the coding test because they didn't have a good CGPA. So CGPA does play a really huge role for you in order for you to write the exam. But after writing the coding test, after after writing that the interview rounds, they are all based on skills. So. The coding, the CGPA is only for the coding round. To get you selected, write the coding. Yeah. Uh, do you think the syllabus taught in college was more than enough to crack the interview, or did you have to learn anything other than that? So, what are the different resources that you used for your preparation? Uh, definitely, the courses alone taught in college would not be enough for you to crack the interviews, uh, as I've seen. 
um, because uh, even through college, uh, we had uh, data structures and algorithms. We had it in our second year. And placement started at the end of third year, so the beginning of fourth year. So uh, definitely, uh, in due course of time, you would have forgot a lot of concepts. But DSA is like the most important thing that you have to focus on to get selected in coding runs as well as in the interview rounds. Because DSA is there everywhere in order for you to get uh, selected for placements. So that alone would not be would not be enough. Uh, I would recommend trying to practice a lot in platforms such as Lead Code and uh, Geeks for Geeks. I personally like Lead Code a lot because of the UI. Uh, UI experience is really good there. But uh, a lot, uh, but Geeks for Geeks is really good in order to use solutions in order to understand the concepts really better. So do use all the coding resources that are available. There are a lot of coding resources available. There are many YouTube channels as well who provide a lot of questions and they solve the uh, answers step by step. So you can learn a lot through them. I personally uh, only used a lot of YouTube uh, videos to get myself through this. Uh, so please do practice outside. Only college will definitely not suffice for your placements. So when do you think is the best time to start preparation? Um, definitely, I would advise to start preparation at least, uh, if not at least, uh, by mid of third year. Uh, if, if you can start it anytime before, it's really good. Just keep practicing every day. Just do one question also, that's completely fine. As long as you keep in touch with all the skills that you have. Because uh, keeping in touch with all, uh, with all the concepts is really, really important. It's easy to uh, confuse one concept with another. And you need to be really clear on each concept in order to solve any coding questions. Because coding questions are not going to be straightforward. You're not going to get it also anywhere. You'll have to solve it at that moment. Even that half an hour of time, you'll have to solve it then. So do keep practicing. Start at least, uh, I should say, one year before you must start. Uh, if not, at least six months before you uh, must start. Don't keep it to the end. Don't be like, uh, I have two months of uh, winter vacation. I think that should suffice. No, do not leave it like that. Uh, I was a person who almost would have left it like that. Uh, but uh, thankfully, some of my friends were like, uh, just opened my mind, told me, start it before you will or else you will have a hard time. So please do start it before. Start at least six months before. Uh, which club are you part of and do you think uh, clubs played a very major role during your placement times? Okay. I'm part of, uh, we teach a uh, club at VIT Chennai. Uh, it's, it's just a non-profit club. Uh, we just go and uh, work with schools. We uh, provide them, uh, provide the underprivileged schools with some education that we can do. Um, it's a non-technical club. So it's not going to help me in the technical aspect of any placement. But what I would say is joining any club will help you to improve your social skills. You have to improve at your communication. You have to improve at how you put forth your point. That is really, really important when you can come to an interview point of view because that is when you'll have to make sure the interviewer understands what you're trying to tell and also make sure that he accepts that your answer is a really good answer for whatever question has been provided because you need to be confident in an interview. So all those kind of social skills, now you will get through any club that you work. Uh, it needn't be this club or that club. If you get, if you work at a part of a, as a part of some technical club, then you have that added advantage. You can put that in your resume. That's a really good plus point for you. You can put the projects that you have taken place in that, and you can make sure that the interviewer knows that you're really excited about this aspect. And that you'll be really, you'll be a really good asset. So I think it does play a good role. I shouldn't say it does play a really major role, but it does play a good role. So the next question for you is, do you think soft skills start in college uh, helps you in any way? Soft skills start to us in college. So uh, it was taught through six semesters. It's a really good thing that our college does that. I uh, wouldn't uh, deny it. But uh, as from the student's point of view, I generally wouldn't have uh, done a, uh, Many students do not pay a lot of attention to soft skills. But I did find it really helpful because uh, when you come to all these interview exams, there'll be at least a lot of companies have this quantitative aptitude round and qualitative aptitude round. So for clearing all those, you need to have a good uh, quantitative ability. If you don't have it, then soft skills provides you that. So it does provide a good role if you uh, if you do listen to the classes provided. And also you must practice. You listen or you did not listen, that's okay. But practice is really important when it comes, when you uh, get near the time of placements. So can you tell us more about the different projects that you've done during your final year or pre-final year? And were you asked any questions about those projects in your interview? So as I've told, I've been part of a lot of hackathons. I've also won a lot of hackathons. Uh, I think that is what uh, stood out in my resume also. Because uh, I put a few of my hackathon projects in my resume and they were really surprised as to 
how uh, maybe uh, we were able to do those kind of projects being part of uh, being just part of college how we were able to put in those uh, that much of efforts to make the project so i'll give uh, a brief uh, summary about a project that i made so it was a covid protection system that we made for our own college is just designed for our own college in order to make students follow social distancing and uh, uh, mask wearing norms so uh, so that we can uh, open our college offline so that's what the idea we had and we did uh, manage to uh, make it practical uh, we took a lot of example videos and uh, we did deep learning on it found out whether they are uh, maintaining social distancing by figuring out the distance between two people and also whether they are wearing a mask or not so and and we also made an app to monitor it we also made a website i was majorly part of the app development team uh, the website was also made so it was a whole it was a whole system that we made it wasn't just a part or a uh, or something like that so this uh, many many interviewers asked me this uh, question about this project and uh, because i was part of the whole project i was able to explain every aspect of it even though i only worked basically on my app development part i knew all the aspects of the project that is what interview looks into do you do you understand everything that goes into a project that is being put that you are part of being a part of that is a really good aspect to have everyone must have that aspect so that's what i did yeah so thank you so much for sharing all these with us today so finally do you have any tips or suggestions that you would like to share for your juniors um yeah. so tips uh, basically uh, first of all you need to keep practicing the essay and everyone is going to tell you that anyways i would also tell you that because the essay is really really important whichever interview you go whatever coding round you want to do there will be at least one uh, one question related to the essay the essay is like it's done it's basic you have to do it there's no other go so you can't just run away from the essay and you and also even in the essay you can't just be like oh, i know stacks few space so i think my job is done dynamic programming is really really important everyone must learn dynamic programming because that is what many of the coding questions are going to comprise of and even interviews as dynamic programming so dynamic programming is as well a really important topic keep practicing it please start your practice on time uh, at least 6 months before as i told please do not put it at the end if you put it at the end there's going to be a lot of difficulty because there will be a lot of concepts to cover and you'll have minimum time to do it you might you might even feel uh, uh, you, you might even feel sad you might even lose your self confidence knowing that people have been preparing before you and they are at a, a better place right now you are in i think a lot of people get uh, demotivated easily because of this aspect so please to start your uh, preparation a bit uh, earlier uh, well, one more thing is um, about the companies that come uh, super dreams are going to be a lot of super dreams that are going to come there are going to be a lot of dream companies as well that are going to come so you, you needn't be worried that uh, you might you won't get placed definitely you will get placed if you put in uh, good efforts you will get placed uh, it's uh, it's the efforts that you put that get you either to a dream or to a super dream company so you put in a lot of efforts you try your best to get into a super dream company you can get into a super dream company you try your best to get into a dream company you can get into a dream company but one thing that is going to be there is going to be something called the luck factor uh, i am just giving that a name but it does play a huge role in it and you can't handle that you you can't you can't uh, you can't change the luck that uh, happens in interview because i've i've seen personally uh, for the same company some interviewers uh, ask really easy questions they just come and they just have a chit chat and then go away and then some people just come and bombard you with questions make sure that you feel really sad about yourself that you don't know shit they they'll do this kind of things just to make sure you feel bad there are a lot of interviewers like that as well so you can't you can't choose who is going to come and interview you that isn't in your hands but you can only learn whatever is there so keep learning keep practicing don't lose hope any time you will get best really soon that's it Uh, i am sure everything that is spoke today would be really helpful for all our juniors who are watching this video so it is really great to have you here today uh, congratulations and all the best for your journey in this company uh, and thank you so much for making time for us and giving us such useful information thank you thank you so much uh, place xp for providing this opportunity that i am able to talk about uh, my placement experience thank you preeti for uh, taking me attending an interview of us thank you